guys welcome back to my channel today I'm bringing you another story time and yeah this is the time that I had an allergic reaction to prescribed medication from a doctor and ended up in the ER for like five hours let's get into it okay so I can tell you the exact date of this because they gave me a little take-home bag because this could happen again if somebody prescribes this to me. So yeah, this happened on the 3rd of the 4th, 2014. So it says here I was 17. Oh, no, they gave me two, the dosage is one. But because mine was so bad in the hospital, I had to have two. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so it starts off normal. I'll tell you what I had. I had gastroenteritis, but it was like the throwing up kind, so I couldn't keep anything down, not even water. And it was just like stomach acid and like acid reflux and it was horrible. I couldn't eat anything. I didn't want to eat anything. Every time I drank anything, it just like came out. Just bleh. So uh, I get taken to the doctor. Uh, it was a new doctor. My other doctor was off for that week or something. So it was like my dad's doctor. I go to them and they prescribe me this wonderful thing that helps you keep your food down so I take it I take it at night but the night that I got home yeah it was the night that I got home I took it fine perfect I could eat everything was good I had to take it the next morning took it again ate breakfast everything was good and then that whole day I felt so weird like I was I was so sick okay because like I couldn't keep anything down my body was so tired Anyway, all I wanted to do was sleep, but I couldn't lie down. It felt so uncomfortable. No clue why, it just felt like I needed to get up. Every time I got up and walked, it kind of felt better, but I was so... It felt better, but I was sick, so it felt bad. <laughs> so I would like sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up. I was so tired and I went to sleep, but every time I sat down, my body was like, get up! So, yeah, I just couldn't relax, couldn't watch TV, couldn't read, couldn't anything. Walking was horrible because I was sick, so it's like a zombie, you're just like, Mah. So eventually, fast forward that whole horrible day, and it ends up like night time, and I can feel my toes starting to go like this. You know when you get that thing where you push your foot too hard and it like cramps? So my toes were doing like that bending thing, and I was just like, what the hell? But it wasn't that bad, like it happened on and off. So my mom said that it's probably because of potassium and like your body needs it so it's cramping up. So I ate like three bananas. When I went to go bath, I was trying to put my feet because my toes were doing this. See, so like this is the bath. I was trying to put my toes like that so that they would stay up. Uh, excuse my pinky, it's been like that since birth. So I was trying to push my toes and they were just like pushing against and it was so painful. So I get out of my relaxing bath and go tell my mom that my toes are still doing it and it's really annoying. She tells me, just go to bed, it'll be okay. It's probably just nothing. I try and go to bed and mind you it's like school the next day but I'm not sure if I was going but I was kind of going you know. So I try and sleep again while I'm lying in bed my toes are curling so I'm trying to put my toes like that on the mattress which is very uncomfortable and then I was just getting so frustrated so I turned over and I went like this and my neck spasmed so hard that it got stuck like this and my mouth got stuck like this. Mom. <laughs> so me and my screwed up neck and face go to my mom who was on the telephone to my aunt and I remember she looked at me I'm walking in like this mom she looks takes one look at me and goes uh, I need to go my child's having a stroke <laughs> it's just so dramatic okay so she looks at me, tries to sit me down, she's like trying to massage my jaw and I'm just like, I don't know what's happening. Eventually she massages it, it comes right, she's like, okay. So she like takes me to the lounge and suddenly, again. I don't know, I think, yeah. And she's just like, oh my god. So she gives me water, because then we've, we've established that it's probably the medication that the doctor prescribed me. <sighs> So yeah, so she's trying to give me water to flush the meds out of my system. I'm drinking it as best as I can, like this. You know how hard it is to drink like that? Very hard. It all just like, Ugh. 
But anyway, every time she massages my jaw, it like comes back to normal, so we're like, okay. But I was very uncomfortable. By this point, my hands were starting to like cramp up and like my toes were still going. Like, it was basically all my muscles were spasming and contracting. So, <sighs> eventually she's like, do you think we should go to the hospital? And me, I'm like, no, 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 I'm not waiting in those long queues, I'm good. But like, after another 10 minutes, when my neck completely went, <coughs> and I couldn't fix it in my mouth. My mouth was pulling so hard, like my jaw was pulling so hard this way, it felt like it was gonna snap. So I was eventually like, okay, yeah, no, we, got, we have to go now. Now, 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 now. I quickly went and got dressed, put on like a tracksuit thing. We got in the car and as soon as we get in the car, I kid you not, this is mortifying, but my mouth goes literally stuck like that. I'm not joking, stuck like that. Can't close it can't do anything my mouth is just and I'm like long, 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 long. and she looks back and goes oh my god drive 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 oh Milo's barking so he's with me now yeah you're naughty so we get to the hospital I have to now walk in to this ER like this literally do you know how embarrassing that is so I walk in like that because it's really embarrassing okay like I would close my mouth if I could so I walk in and the minute that I walk in the nurse looks at me and goes okay come into this room so I'm like oh thank god so I go into one room and I'm just like <laughs> my mom's trying to explain and she's like you can't close your mouth and I'm like <laughs> So she's like, oh my gosh, okay, this is hectic. My mom brought all my medication because I'm on the pull and anxiety stuff. So my mom brought all my medication to see if it reacted with that. So I go and sit in the ER thing. Sorry if this is a long video and people don't like this. I go and sit in the ER bed thing. And now I am so like fed up by this point because it hurts. I'm just gonna give you the short version. So my jaw was doing ah, and at the same time pulling to the side so my mouth was open and my jaw was pulling I felt like something was like <coughs> I felt like it was gonna snap out of its like socket or break so it was really painful my toes are still curling my freaking hands are starting to curl my dad takes one look at me pale I'm sweating I'm going like this on the bed my whole body's shaking they put a blanket over me <sighs> my dad takes one look at me starts crying walks out of the room <laughs> He thought I was dying, Shem. Anyway, so then he, I don't know, I forget where he went, but my mom was there, and then what they had to do was change my shirt so that they could get all of the, like, wires and stuff, wires and stuff attached. So I was just like, screw it, I'm not wearing a bra, I don't care, hands up, just take it off, put that on. They put, like, wires all over me, they put, like, a blood pressure thing on me, they put a finger thing on me, and then comes the time to do the injection. I mean, the, what's it called? little thing that goes in your hand and help IV, IV. <laughs> then they drink the IV, right? So now they're trying to find a vein. Of course, I'm f I'm not freezing. Like I feel fine, but I'm like vibrating and like my body is apparently ice. So they're trying to find a vein. There's no veins. Everyone's too small. They're using this thick needle. They go in like there. They go in 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 there. Literally got poked six times and then somebody changed the needle size like on the fourth one and then they found a vein like here So they used that one But yeah <laughs> So they were giving me fluids because I was apparently severely dehydrated Not sure how since I downed that water Anyway, so then eventually my neck starts going Oh my eyes are rolling back like this. My mouth is like her uh, uh, uh. That is not an attractive look, okay? Not good. Now can you imagine having an IV in your hand, okay? Big fat needle, okay? Big fat needle, and now your hand is going like this and pulling, and your fingers are just like, Ugh. Anyway, after all of that, my mom was trying to distract me. Four hours later, they tell me that they don't have, not have the actual medication that you would need to put in the IV bag, which is why they set it up, because you know, you can't really swallow a pull like this. So, <clears throat> yeah, my eyes were rolling, couldn't close my eyeballs, my mom even tried, didn't work. So, I have to take it orally, <laughs> which 
which is, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm trying to take this pull. I managed to get it down by some miracle. I get it down. I'm waiting. It's another hour. It's like kind of going, but I need another one because it was too strong. Like, my reaction was so strong. Okay, so I need another one. Took, managed to take the other one, and then finally everything started to kind of relax. I could feel it in my face. I could finally go and like look at the doctor, but every time he walked out, I was like, oh. again, I don't know. Okay, so five hours in the ER, I eventually returned to somewhat normalcy. My neck is so sore, it feels like I've been in a car accident, my jaw feels like it's been broken, and my body is so tired, my eyes couldn't focus, couldn't look at a screen, nothing, because they had been like this the whole time. Like that. Yeah, and then the doctor tells me, oh, the medication that that doctor gave you has a, what was it, it was something like a 75% chance, okay, wait, girls, females, under the age of 19 have a 75% chance of having an allergic reaction to this medication that she prescribed to you and I am 17, I'm a girl. <laughs> Why are they still selling it? Ah. Anyway, so when I heard that, and then there was apparently another girl, like three beds down, they told me who was having the exact same thing I was, but she wasn't as far along as I was. And they said that it could have killed me because my muscles were contracting and it was blocking my heart or something. So yeah, I almost died thanks to that doctor's prescription thing. <laughs> yeah, so that's the story of the time that I almost died in the ER from an allergic reaction to prescribed medication. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this really long story. Um, I'll see you next week Wednesday. Bye guys!